Hey everybody, welcome back to Trinity Dairy. Don't forget to like and share the video, subscribe to the channel, and check out our merch store. We'll have a link in the description for that. Today's January 25th, 2023. We're in the barn here today. It's not bad outside. It's about 25 above. <clears throat> a little bit windy and a little bit of snow coming down, but nothing horrible. So I let the cows out today uh, for a while. So <clears throat> other than one, we got one is a little bit of a troublemaker in here. So... Uh, when she gets outside so she doesn't go out as much but so you'll probably see her in here <clears throat> but i figure what we're going to do today is i'm going to get the cows bedded before they come back in so I'll kind of show you how we're doing that now what i've been doing this year uh the big squares of bales of straw that i bought <clears throat> this year um were rotary combine so the straw has been chopped up pretty fine i need the straw chopped in here because of the way our manure system is Plus we have grates behind the cows. <clears throat> the chop straw works a lot better and it also stays in the stall better. They can't kick it back as, as fast. But this one bale we've been using for some reason is just a longer cut of straw. And there's not a lot of it left. It's been working, but <clears throat> I wanted to try running it through our little chopper. So I'll show you that in a minute. But this is, the kids have been pulling off this bale. So <clears throat> there isn't a lot left here, but you can see it's, I mean, it's, it's somewhat chopped up, but there's quite a bit of long straw in there. So I've got that small bale chopper. I showed it in a couple videos ago when I was chopping hay for the mixing with the silage. <clears throat> um, and I've got some straw in there now. I haven't ran it yet, but, and that's basically what these are made for. They're made for small square bales of straw you put in there and you turn it on and it chops it up and it blows it out the side into the stall. I don't know how well you can see in here, but there's just a drum of knives in here. There's supposed to be doors on here or like ba um, deflectors that you can adjust for how far out it blows the straw, but I don't know, they've never been on there since I've had it. I bought it used and it seems to work okay without it. I have used it in here before. Uh, the, the best with using the chop straw and the bales, that's actually been the best um least amount of dust and then probably the most efficient we used to chop it up into the spot in the hay barn and that works pretty well but it still makes a lot of dust so when i get this running i'm going to probably fire up the fan so we get plenty of air suck that dust out so we're not breathing all that in but um we'll get it fired up here and we'll give it a try and kind of show you how we bed the cows
doesn't want to turn off. <clears throat> Well, there, we got it all spread out. That worked up pretty good. Chopped it up real nice. So now what I'll do, I'll take the broom and I'll sweep it up from the back of the stall. Sweep it all up kind of forward because the cattle, once they're in here, they'll get it worked back. So I don't really need any in the back. So I'll uh, do that now and get that swept up. Well, all right, there we go. That's it for bedding them. Um, I did have a, one of the viewers ask last time I showed this bedding chopper if I could kind of explain how it works a little bit more. So I can uh, put that in here. We can go over this a little bit. Now this one is gas powered. Um, they make electric, ones with electric motor too. Some people will convert them over, but uh, this is a gas one. So I think this is, I've got the front cover off because the recoil rope broke so i just start it with the drill right now until i get that fixed but i think it's a eight horse honda motor and then you've got a double v belt drive here and then this turns that on and off so it tightens and loosens the belt and then this is to set your length of cut how high the bale is against the knives in there and then you've got Another, it's kind of hard to see because it's dark, but there's another single V-belt down in here that drives a gearbox. And then this tightens the belt. So there's a big V-belt then that runs all the way around the base of this drum. And then it's just, it spins the bale over the knives in there. And then inside, it gets, it's hard to see because it's dark. Let's see if I can get some light in here. So these are the knives. Um, they're basically just sickle sections like you'd have in a hay bind or a sickle mower. And I think there's three rows of them in there and they just spin on that drum and then blow it out the side. So they're really not much to them. They, they work pretty well. This straw is pretty clean so it didn't get very dusty in here today. I've chopped some straw that was that was on the dirty side and it um, it, it can get pretty bad but uh, this stuff was was nice and it chopped up real nice so I said if I don't have to use this if the bales are fine enough that I can spread them out I will but this works um, works pretty well too for if they're longer straw so something else I figured I'd show you in here um, so this is the old part of the barn so a lot of the original stalls in here were stanchions like this and the cow goes in there and you uh, shut the stanchion and, and they are just in there. But they're, you know, 86, 87 years old, so they're getting worn out. Some of them I've kind of replaced and even the replacement ones are getting worn out. Now I do have, when my grandpa started milking here, he had added on an addition to the barn and then this area here was um well originally it was horse stalls and then it was a calf pen and then he put four um tie stalls here so we call them they're called a comfort stall so the cow will have a neck strap on or a neck chain kind of like a necklace and then uh they just you hook onto that here and they eat and everything and it's a little bit easier for them to get up in here there's pros and cons to both but anyway I have more of those stalls that my intention is to replace these stanchions with. But I also want to do a bunch of concrete work at the same time in here. Uh, do it all at once. So money-wise and stuff, I just haven't gotten that done yet. But I was experimenting with kind of a fix for these stanchions that are getting worn out. 
see how it works and I've heard of some people doing this before they actually do make some stalls that are similar to this so what I did here this stanchion was completely shot so I pulled it out so what I did is I just put a stanchion clamp on here and a foot of pipe another clamp and then these are about not quite four feet across and the same thing here and then I uh, just got a neck chain so they strap up strap to it uh, similar to those ones over there but um, it seems to be working pretty good I've had it in there a couple days now so we'll uh, see how that goes but so far it's been working really well if it if I don't really seem to have any issue with it I think I'll probably do some more of that um, at least for the time being because like I said a lot of these stanchions are just getting so worn out they've been repaired and repaired and um, a lot of the anchors in the concrete where the bottom anchors too are getting worn out so that might be a might be a fix uh, to get us through until we do the concrete work and stuff or you know it's only temporary unless it works but uh so yeah that's the my idea there so if you've done anything like that or have any other suggestions uh, leave it in the comments but probably not a very long video or not very exciting but hope you enjoy it and we'll see you in the next one